Hi folks, Bill Steele here with uh, 3D Chameleon and I thought I'd give a quick little uh, overview of uh, how this thing actually works. Um, so down here I have the 3D Chameleon uh, at the bottom of the screen here and then I have it going through the Y adapter into a BMG style extruder. This is just replacing the stock Creality extruder uh, but you can use the normal one as well. Uh, I just happen to like these uh, and then that goes all the way up into the hot end and right now it's actually unloading the filament you can actually see it traveling through the tube here so what it's going to do is it's going to retract it out to uh, the start of the BMG and by retracting it's actually going to push it out just a little bit beyond its drive gears so if I didn't have the 3D chameleon the filament would just fall out but now what it's doing is it's pressing the button in sequence to change which active which active uh, color we have. It's now pressing it for uh, either three and a half or five and a half seconds and then the second press is having the 3D chameleon retract it out of the extruder through the Y adapter into its park position. It'll then go and change colors. It's going to press the button again for three and a half or five seconds depending on which one it is and then it'll load it for ten seconds so now it's loading the white filament on the right side here. It's going through the Y adapter. And as soon as it reaches the extruder, it's going to activate the extruder at the same time. It's then going to stop, let go of the filament, and then continue the extruder. So it automatically loads the extruder by itself. And now we can see the filament traveling through the PTFE tube back into the hot end. Uh, once it gets to the hot end, it'll resume. It'll do its purge on the purge block. This happens to be Prusa slicers. Um, and then it'll resume the print. So that sequence uh, is completely automated except for two features. One, the system needs to know where your switch is at. And I happen to have this one on the, uh, the y-axis here at the front of it. And um, at some value, you'll, you'll determine that value based on how far the machine can actually move forward as well as where you can place the switch. Um, this happens to be around 219.5 I believe uh, actually it's 222.5 on this axis and then the what we do is we we find that value so 222.5 uh, which is where the light actually turns on when you trigger it that that little red light right there um, and then what you do is you subtract three millimeters from that and that's what goes into your slicer you can see it's purged the white and now it's resuming the white print there so that's the first value, just the location of this button. The second value that you need is the distance between the hot end through this PTFE tube to your extruder drive gears. Uh, the easy way to measure that is to simply put a piece of filament in there all the way in and then cut it off at the bottom of the extruder and measure that distance. Pull that piece of filament out and measure it. This happens to be uh, uh, 630 millimeters in this case. Uh, so what we, we've done is we've plugged in 630 millimeters into the G-code to tell it to load and unload that amount. Now, when you load or unload that amount, we're going to always add a few millimeters onto it to, to retract it back out just so that it forces it out. And you're going to subtract a little bit when you're going back in, simply because you saw when we loaded this, it actually loaded it to just about you know a centimeter above the top of the... the uh, extruder there. So we, we actually load in about 50 millimeters through the extruder there and that's about that two inches you see there. Um, and that stopped right there and then it's from that point there all the way to the rest of it that it actually uh, needs to load that. So here it's unloading that 630 millimeters. The other values that are in the G-code, you don't need to um, mess with, actually, uh, because we're always going to unload 10 seconds and we're going to reload 10 and a half seconds to allow that um, loading and unloading. As long as the tubes that you have from the 3D Chameleon drive motors to the Y adapter are at least you know, about a foot long, you shouldn't have anything to worry about and you should never need to edit those values. The other thing that you don't want to uh, have too long or too short is the distance between the extruder and the Y adapter. So uh, we have a, a small section in there, maybe three inches, 75 millimeters. 
That's about a good uh, length there. But in reality, it can be all the way up to it. But you don't want it any farther than four inches away. Um, so that's a, a good set of numbers that you want there to use there. Ten seconds loading and unloading actually is about 10 inches or about 250 millimeters total. So that's going to be from the drive gears in your, your extruder all the way back out. And you can see that's about 10 inches from there down to there where we're actually uh, unloaded the filament to. And here you can see this one's continuing to load it. It's almost all the way into the hot end. And now that it's loaded, it'll resume its purge. So right now we see a predominantly white purge. Uh, that should rapidly switch to blue. It's already ch started changing to blue. And then once that completes the purge, it'll go and resume the part. Now I just have a part of a test part on there. It's actually one of these uh, Stegosaurus... Uh, models um, and I'm only printing the center three um, just for testing so that's it you're going to measure the distance from there to there and you're going to uh, know the location of the switch you're going to plug those two values into the slicers uh, tool change G code which we've already written and we have documents in there on how to do that uh, there's documented arrow in the code that shows you where to edit the code and and this is the values that you want to use uh, for example this is an ender 5 and ender 3 any of these ender style machines are going to have a very very similar configuration um, in fact you can use the identical configuration for all of them except for those two values this distance and the location of this switch that's all you need to edit uh, feel free uh, to send me an email at bill at 3d chameleon if you have any questions um, or if you need any help editing it for your particular machine. Thanks for watching.